Hey everybody, it's Allison Haikila. Thanks so much for joining me today. It is time for the February card hop and hop. And this month's theme is inspired by, and we needed to choose either water or bleach to stamp with. I decided to go with bleach. So I've got some bleach right here, and I added some paper towels to like a, a food tray, like the lid. And I poured some bleach in there. It's been soaking for a little bit, a little bit of time, and I think that it's ready to to be used now. Um, again, the theme is inspired by, and that's a very broad topic. We could be inspired by another artist. We could be inspired by, I don't know, the sun, whatever. I decided to be inspired by old books and microfiche and old photography because when you use bleach with stamping, you get kind of this imperfect old grungy, fabulous kind of look. Um, and I thought that that would be kind of a fun thing to jump off of. So I have some very different stamp sets here. I have the Entomology stamp set from Stampers Anonymous and Tim Holtz. And then I have Abstract Nature, which is a Julie Ebersole stamp set from Essentials by Ellen. And I think I'm going to combine them. I'm not really sure. I might just use one on one piece of cardstock and one on the other. I don't know. But if you haven't played with bleach on cardstock before, these are all different um, black cardstocks from different brands. And you can see that I just pushed this right into my paper towel. You can see that the colors, not only of the original shades of black, are very different, but when they bleach out, they're pretty different as well. This one is much warmer, kind of gives you a brown tinge. This one is very gold. And this one is kind of somewhere in the middle. Um, so you want to try to experiment a little bit when you're choosing what cardstock you're going to use because the colors that they bleach out to will be different. Um, I did grab not just black, but I also have gray and brown. I might not use the gray, but I don't know. You guys know how I roll. I like to just play. So I think we're going to start with the black and we're going to start with some of the bugs and we'll go from there. And if I use the other stuff, I do. If I don't, I don't. We're going to just kind of mess around. And you'll notice that with um, the two stamp sets that I chose, one is rubber and the other one is clear. You can use both kinds. They won't harm your stamps. You'll just want to clean them off really well with uh, like soapy water. You can probably just use water, but I would probably um, recommend using some soapy water just to make sure you're not going to eventually bleach your ink pad if you use it right away. But this stuff dries pretty quickly too. So I'm going to just stamp this cicada and it's not going to show up at first and it really didn't show up. I, I can kind of see the image. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, look at that. It's starting to come through. That actually worked pretty quickly. I like that. I think that what I'm going to do is just make a master board. And a master board is just a big sheet of paper or cardstock that eventually you plan on trimming down to use for other projects, like not just necessarily all on one. So I'm going to just mess around and just stamp this whole piece of cardstock with the cicada and I'll grab some of the other stuff. I might just grab some of the um, Essentials by Ellen stamp set as well and add some of that in. But I think that this is going to work out really well. And then maybe I'll add a little bit of the the brown the stamps to the brown cardstock too. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to remove the cicada. I'm not even going to put it back with the rest of the stamps because I want to make sure that I clean it well. Let's grab. Let's grab one of these guys. I think that I want to use this. No, you know what? I'm going to wind up using these. So let's go back to the bugs. Sorry about my doggies barking. There is probably somebody walking by and they get very offended by that for some reason. So I have this moth here. I'm going to tell the doggies to stop. Okay, I think the dogs are done barking. So I'm going to use this moth all over this piece. And you can see how nicely the cicadas are, are coming up as the bleach on the paper is drying. It kind of reminds me of like old wallpaper. It's pretty cool. Okay. This is looking all right. Get one more over here. Cool. 
We need more. We need more stuff. But look at how nice that looks already. That is pretty cool. I like it. Okay, how about we use a bee? Let's use a bee. Let's use this bee. Somebody is really upsetting my dogs. <laughs> Here's the bee. I'm using an old block too. Um, truth be told, I use this block more than any of my other ones, but I have gotten a new one. But I didn't know if the bleach was going to affect the block at all. So I decided to just go with this and not use my new one, just in case. But I would imagine that it probably would be fine. Okay, one more little B. That looks good. And now we're gonna go in with some of these dots, like this. I think that this will be a nice way to just kind of fill in some of the gaps. Although it doesn't really seem to be doing anything. It's interesting. I wonder if it's just not picking up the bleach at all. There we go. Okay. I think that because the rubber stamps are thicker, just by nature of being, you know, red rubber with the cling on the back, um, my clear stamp just wasn't hitting the paper towel. We can even do a little splatter if we want to, but of course you want to be really careful because this is bleach. So I'm probably going to skip it because I have far too many things behind my camera. Um, my camera is obviously above and then I have a lot of things back here. Um, on my desk and I don't really want to splash them so if you want to try that like if you're working on an island or something and there's not a lot of things behind you then that's cool but I'm gonna probably skip it this time all right I still think that we need more so I'm gonna add a couple more things and then we'll check back okay so I finished my master board it's still got a little bit more to dry I added some of the circles from the um, abstract nature stamp set from Essentials by Ellen and I came across this stamp set from Stampendous. It's called Leafy Imprint and I used this small fern to just fill in some of those areas. I could totally still do more and you can overlap things and whatnot but I decided that because some of these images are just so delicate, actually all of them are, um, I really didn't want to go over it with like a script or anything because I thought it would take away from what I've got here. So I'm gonna trim this down and we're gonna make a card. Off camera, I bleached out another piece of cardstock a little bit because I wanted to use it to make my sentiment, which I die cut from a Pink Fresh Studio set, which I'll show you in a moment, and I stacked with just a heavier weight black cardstock. Um, I made three cuts of the thank you. This is it right here. I love this set. I use it all the time. It's called Classic Words Die Set. I use it very, very often. So that's going to go on here like so. And just as a side note, I decided to experiment with the brown cardstock and look at how cool this looks. This is done with all stamps from that abstract nature set from Essentials by Ellen. And it's a great master board and I'll just cut it up and use it at another time. Maybe that'll be a whole nother video. We'll see. So I've got my white card base, which is not going to stay white. I've got some sequins here from Doodles Paper Playground, which sadly is no longer in business. But if you have any of their sequins, this is a great opportunity to use them. This is the Apple Crisp Sparkle Blend. And because I don't want to keep my card base white, I have the Desert Sand Fireworks Spray, which I'm going to paint around the border. I just need to give it a good shake and grab a paintbrush and we'll paint the border and then while that's drying we will assemble the card. I very often use my sprays with a brush instead of actually spraying it so that I can get a totally different look with them. And I thought that this color was perfect because of how the black cardstock that I used 
bleached out. It's going to match really well without it being too overpowering, and the cardstock is no longer white, which is not my favorite thing. I prefer to have color on the border most of the time. So we're going to let that dry, and it's going to have a great shimmer. Okay. So then we're going to move this to the side, let it dry, and we'll start assembling this. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. And we'll start with the thank. I've got my Barely Arts glue, which is what I use to adhere uh, the other layers together. And that's nice and dry at this point. Makes it a little bit easier to manipulate once it's got um, a bunch of layers also. Put my little block here just so that that starts to stick. And then we'll do this one. Here is the U. This is fun. I am going to need to get some bleach because I had to borrow this bleach from a friend because I didn't have bleach. I don't use bleach ever. Um, and now I kind of want to for this process. <laughs> it turned out really cool. So now we're going to pick out some sparkle blends or some sequins, I should say. Let's get this closed. When I'm using sequins, I like to use my on point glue. Um, you can use the Barely Arts glue. I just I prefer using the on point for it. It dries really quickly and it dries clear, like because it starts off clear. Um, and I just, I think it holds really well. So I'm going to pick up a couple of these. It's a little bit too bright. I chose this particular blend because it had some really nice neutrals in it. Like this bronzy color that I thought worked really well with how, um, the whole thing bleached out. So I think that that'll work. Got two of them here. And we're just going to flip this over. I don't really want to cover up too much of the bugs. Um, we'll see how this goes. Okay. All right. I didn't want to make you sit through all of that. So I fixed it a bit while I was not on camera. And of course my glue needs to be declogged. So let me just use a pin. Okay. Usually this glue does not clog, but if it's been a while since I've used it, then it will a bit, but I just stuck a pin in there and it's totally fine. Actually the same pin that you get from Barely Arts is the one that I used just now um, because the nozzles are the same and it works just fine. we go. Just dropping that in there. Perfect. I'm going to close this up and then we're going to attach it to our card base, which is now dry and has a pretty shimmer to it. It's a little tricky to pick up on camera, but it's there. See, you can really see it right here. Okay. Is fun. So I hope that you will hop along to everybody else. While I'm doing this, let me just explain a little bit more about the hop. This group, um, the card hopping group, started in Handmade Happiness. Whoops, I knocked one of my sequins off. I'll have to fix that. Um, and you can join us whenever you want to. Just join the card hopping group. And there are prompts every month for what we're going to use on film. Um, you don't even have to have a YouTube channel. You can do it through Instagram, I believe, as well, um, or just your blog. It just so happens that it tends to be predominantly YouTube videos. So what you're going to do to find the rest of the, the parts... <laughs> I can't talk now, guys. The participants is to search Card Hoppin' Feb, that's F-E-B, 2023. 
and that's how you'll find the rest. We're not doing links just like last month, um, which was Card Hoppin' Jan 2023. This month is Card Hoppin' Feb 2023. And there we go. How's that? I like it. So yeah, I hope I hope that you'll join us. Be sure to check out the rest of the hop participants by searching for the hashtag. If you missed the hashtag, it'll be in the description box below, along with all of the supplies that I used today. And if you have questions, please let me know. And I appreciate you spending time with me. Thanks so much, everybody. Have a great day. Stay safe. Peace out. Bye-bye.